Yeah, ever thought we'd be starting back here? Well, we are today. Skipping all this because we all know how the series works by now. Anyway, without further ado, this is Metal Slug 1, released all the way back in 1996. It's obviously aged a fair bit by the fandom's standards. <laughs> like, for example, the flame shot is an absolute joke here. <laughs> Ari and Theo weren't, weren't introduced yet. <laughs> and the way you could access characters <laughs> was a little Eh, in a few places, like... The way it worked is that you'd press, you'd press start on player one side for Marco and player two's for Tama. Also a bit of a funny thing to note about this is that coming back to this, I've I found this particular game to be like far easier than than, than its predecessors. It's like as they kept kept on making these games, you know, switching from like the standard military war theme to an all-out war with pretty much everything, you know. You know, aliens and all that. I feel like... You know, they felt they felt like they needed to step, step up their game. In terms of difficulty with how... With how much crazy stuff they could get away with at this point. At that point. Yeah, but yeah, seeing as how I say that this game is pro probably the easiest one in the series, which obviously makes sense considering it is the first of, it, of its kind. What I mean is that, yeah, you'll pretty much, you won't find yourself dying as much as, as the way harder sequels. When I was younger I always used to get like <laughs> like a Space Invaders vibe out of that wave of, of enemies. And yeah, you know it's an old game <laughs> when the announcer doesn't e doesn't even pronou pronounce some rocket rocket launcher in a weird way. See if we can. I feel like even aiming, aiming your heavy machine gun, like even that feels weird here. Oh, grab this! Why not? Thank you. 
I'll just stick with the shotgun since. Since that's actually the most overpowered thing in the whole game. Well, this whole game, I should say. Also, another thing that makes this way easier than, than the other games is that at, near the end of each level, you're, you're guaranteed that, that the game will give you a Metal Slug. Anyway, it's time for boss two, more, more than in, in a plane. Ah, oh, I don't... I don't remem remember him being this stupid here. I thought I wasn't going to beat him with the with the slug there, but I managed. You know, looking at my credits counter, I don't know why I gave myself that many. Like, I really won't won't be needing all of them. Considering its place in the series and all that. I could have just went up went up a night that guy, but. Well, it took me a long time to die, but there you go. And that was probably in the dumbest fashion possible. I don't know what I was doing. Some of the jumps in this level still kind of scare me to this day. Like this jump in particular, I. S this jump in particular, I. Yeah, I. S I still obsess over that particular jump. Sometimes I make it, sometimes I don't. It's like I'm lucky enough if I can even get it. get it first try. Well, I'm. S I'm still as bad as the Ellen fights so, as I always have been. Thank you. Exactly how I managed to get them down in the past is way beyond me, honestly. Was I messing around? Yeah, what, what was I messing around for then? Thank you. 
I thought that wasn't... I thought the barrel wasn't going to explode there. The barrel that just refuses to die. Uh, yeah, the chances of you getting that sprite are pretty random, but it's amusing when it happens. Alright, I couldn't even see that bullet. Well, rip. I feel like I've been jinxing myself all this time. <laughs> like, like I can just pray. Yeah, this is the easiest game in the series, and I still die as normal. And I still die so many times as no as normal anyway. I don't exactly want to go into a whole lot of detail with these bosses since I'm not that familiar with war machines myself. And then again, I'm I'm certainly not the kind of guy who would who who looks like he would have come out of out of a war unscathed. That was a nice little double death. And that's probably the worst mission free I'll ever do in my life. The game actually spawns another Metal Slug here if, if you fail to get this one. Get off, get off me. But yeah, if you don't get... If you don't get this this Metal Slug, the game is kind enough to spawn, spawn a second one for you. If you don't... If you don't have this one, that is. I never really found a good good reason to use the frontal attack, honestly. I always found it to be like a waste of what killed me. But yeah, I always found it to be like a waste of resources. And by resources I obviously mean the vehicle that you use. See if we can get past this guy. There we go. And our fourth boss here is two tanks. Let's see if we can take this one out first. I'll be surprised if I can actually I was just going to say, I'm going to be surprised if I actually beat this boss with the slug since 
I never do beat these later bosses with them. <laughs> By the way, can we talk about how much, how much the bezel they chose for this game is a is an absolute lie? Because because Theo and Trevor, they aren't any, anywhere in this game. And that's what I get for, for point, pointing out errors in the bezel that the Retro Pie chose for us. Nothing more satisfying than running over a bunch of cars with this thing. No, get off me. Yeah, I like. Yeah, I just like to quick, quickly bomb these things open. Any of you remember this boss from from Metal Slug X? I'm sure you do. That was like the safest approach I I could have ever taken. And 18 minutes and we're already on the final mission. Forgot to tell you this 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 was like the shortest game in the series as well. I don't know what kind of streak of luck I was on to survive that long. <laughs> like just, like just look at the enemy placements here. This is a bloodbath. Boing, boing. <laughs> to be honest, this game really says a lot of how well I would do in an actual war. Jokes on you on jokes on you, I'm not dead. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're not gonna announce what weapon I just got? Okay. Oh 
Oh god. <laughs> I know that was a pretty late, re late reaction, but thank, thank god for like in those invincibility frames. <laughs> Yeah, I want... I want that thing. I need it. Oh, come on. Actually, no, what, I'm, what am I doing? I, I could just get out of it and save it. Whoa! No! Get out! Get out! <laughs> what am I, an acrobat? <laughs> Do I look like some kind of daredevil to you? Anyway, that's the end of this section. After after this wave of enemies, it's it's truly final boss time. Oh, I hate I hate this one so much. Die already. Uh, I think I'll get that prisoner. But... Come on. Yeah, you want a party, Morton? Give me all you got. <laughs> Give me the good rockets. I love that. I don't know what happened for, that that caused that caused the slugger's dying dying animation to to loop or reset rather, but uh, I'm not gonna question question it. Oh, I thought I was. I thought I was going to be safe there. This goes to show what I know. Wait. What am I... I would say that's the worst I've ever done, but... I don't think I can recall much about my previous... The previous runs of this of this game, honestly, and that's pretty much it. Mission all over for now. Well, I say that because I mainly focused on covering the mainline games. I'll probably do the spin-offs like Advanced or maybe even maybe even 3D some other time, but. You never know. Triumphant music aside, did you know that this, en that this ending is totally different if you beat the game with a friend? 
like everything's cheerful, no one's no one's dead. <laughs> Truth be told, I could have punched in punched in a second controller just just to show you, but uh, I'll probably show it to you in post or something. And I've got to give props to Nas Nasca for <laughs> making a beloved, a hugely beloved series. I don't know, I thought I'd just throw one last thing out there before I sign off. In any, in any case, see you later. Thank you.